So let's take a quick look underneath the hood of this GDI Chevy Malibu here. So a couple things just that we went over in the presentation. I just wanted to show you guys. Obviously, I've took the liberty to remove some of the covers off camera film here. So this would be the cover that you'd see when you originally open the hood. It's held on with one screw and obviously the oil fill cap. You got to remove that to be able to pull that cover off. But here is that insulator that we talked about. And that insulator is obviously placed on the engine first and then that actual plastic cover goes over the top of it. So it's pretty thick foam. You can see how it's probably about an inch or so thick. And this insulator is made so that it helps reduce the, the clicking sound that's going to be emitted into the passenger compartment based off of the high pressures for the actual gasoline injected systems. So make sure that you put that insulator cover back on. Also, you can see that the fuel injectors are go down, way down inside the center of the head area here. There's a couple wiring harnesses in the general vicinity. If I were to do a valve cover gasket or anything that I had to disassemble some stuff here, move some wires around, I want to make sure that those wires are back in the little wire holding looms because again, if it's laying up against the actual fuel injector, it's going to resonate that sound and it's going to, it's going to magnify it to the point where even though you have insulators and stuff in place, it's going to be very audible inside the passenger compartment. The one thing that we want to talk about, about cleaning the fuel injectors on this and the actual intake systems on this, we said earlier that we want to introduce the cleaning solvent into the air intake. So we're not going to try to spray it inside the actual air intake snorkel tube assembly. We want to find a centralized vacuum hose on the engine. So every engine out there is going to have one of these two. I know vacuum hoses are becoming less and less on vehicles, but if the car's got power brakes, that vacuum hose is going to be centrally located in the intake manifold. If the car doesn't have power brakes, it's definitely going to have an EVAP purge solenoid. That again is going to be centrally located inside the intake manifold. The theory behind the centrally located vacuum hose is we don't want to be favoring any one particular cylinder because as I'm spraying the cleaning solvent in, that one cylinder is going to get the most of it and we're going to risk hydrostatically locking up that engine and we all know that that could bend a connecting rod or cause severe engine damage. So even though that one machine is automated, I believe even in the owner's manual it tells you it's automated, but pay attention to it while it's working because we want to make sure that say if the engine were to stall out or something along those lines, we're not continuously spraying the cleaning solvent in there or a liquid cleaning solvent in so that when you go to try to restart it, it actually hydrostatically locks up the engine. And if we're using the spray can scenario, again, we still want to go to a centrally located vacuum hose and that's where we would introduce the actual cleaning solvent. And that solvent is going to kind of go act like the Mr. Bubbles scrubbing power stuff. It's going to get on the carbon and it's going to just kind of soak in there. But that alone by itself, it's a two part cleaning mixture, that alone by itself won't get all the carbon off. And you might have to do this depending on how, bad, how badly the carbon has been built up inside the engine you might have to do this a couple times. So it's not uncommon, you know, I had, a, I had a Chevy Equinox in that had GDI on it. I had to do the carbon cleaning treatment three times chemical cleaning treatment. And <clears throat> the only alternative is, is to take the whole entire head off the vehicle, which we definitely want to avoid trying to do that. It's a lot, of, a lot of man hours, a lot of labor hours, and physically scraping the carbon clean. So the cleaning solvent is definitely worth the time spent and also it's a good profit maker for your shop. So it's not, it's not a real hard task to do. You just got to use a little bit of common sense and if you do it and you do it effectively and you do it on a semi-regular schedule for your routine customers, um, this gasoline direct injection will provide years of service and with all the improvements of better 
better performance while we have better fuel economy coming out of the tailpipe.